This is a very good question. And uh, I used to run a daily video blog, and after about 60 days, I ran out of ideas. I was confused, I didn't know what to do. So uh, one thing, let's start from the basics. Actually, that's what you should do. You should start from the basics. Talk about your uh, topic. Uh, let's say you're a makeup artist. Talk about basics of makeup. Hint, tell dudes how to put makeup on for the camera because I feel like Chris Angel right now. But anyway, talk about the basics. Then once you do that, get more advanced because chances are someone looking for whatever you're vlogging about is going to be looking for the basics first. So there you go. Then once you have them, they might follow you and watch more and more. Also, solve problems. I mean, this is, this is a big one. So to do that, what I did with my video blog is I went into different magic forums and I found problems like um, my fog keeps rising. I want the fog to stay down. Well, the solution is you have a regular fog machine. You need a low lying fog machine. So I could do a video blog on the difference, uh, different fog machines and what, how they work and what the effect is. And now I have a video blog and I found that in a forum. So these are just different ideas, different places you can go. Facebook groups, uh, you could do Twitter searches, find out what people, what problems people have in the area you're doing video blogs on, answer the questions, make a video blog about it. There you go, that's how you develop uh, material for your video blog. And stutter at the shame. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found it useful. If you'd like to see more, I have 10 videos just like this one over at 30minuteblog.com. Go over there and you can get 10 free videos just like this one telling you all about video blogs. So go ahead and head over to 30minuteblog.com. I'll see you over there. Thank you.